Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake secure data sharing using custom user. So as you know that there is always a case where uh, we are not going to get the account admin uh, super user or the role. Uh, whereas like uh, it's always a case that uh, any organization creates the custom roles or specifically a uh, functional uh, role based uh, user or the role and assign those to particular group of user or user. Uh, to achieve the particular target goal so it's always a case and the best practice also to create a uh, means like create a user or a role based on for certain functionality and not to give uh, too much privilege to any particular role or user so today also we are going to see the same thing uh, i'm going to create the custom user and uh, for to create the share so that user will only have the access to that particular objects and uh, he will able to create the share rather than giving the account admin role we will connect as that custom user and create all the share as a normal process so what we are going to see in the current demo is like we are going to uh, do the nine different steps uh, first we will connect as account admin as always and create a custom role and user then we will create a shareable objects all the objects which we want to share to the read only user then we will grant the access of those shareable object to custom user with further grant option so that they can use those object for the further grants then we will connect as custom user and we will log out from the uh, our account admin uh, user login we'll connect as custom user and create the share give the required grants for those object uh, which we have created for uh, shareable object to the share then we will add the reader account to the share then we will log out and connect as reader account uh, in the reader account as account admin because as you know when we create uh, when we create the share and get those uh, to the share uh, read reader account we can connect as account admin and then we will further create another read only user and give all the grants required to use the warehouse and the share then we will create a database from that share because uh, once we add the reader account to uh, reader account uh, to the share uh, we will see those under the shared object but uh, unless we create a database uh, from those share we will not able to access any database so we will create the database from the share and then we will connect as read only user and use the share so those are the nine uh, steps which we need to do to showcase the entire demo uh, how we can utilize the custom role on the user to achieve the same target which we were doing as connecting as account admission so without wasting time let's go and uh, see the demo so you can see that i am connected with my account account admin and uh, i'm going to create certain things so i'm going to use the reader account which is pretty created for me here i'm going to uh, connect as account admin and i'm going to create a share admin uh, user and also going to create a share admin role and the, i'm going to grant the share admin uh, role to share admin user and then i'm going to give all of the warehouse users to share admin so let's do that first now we have created all the users and everything given the grants now i will create all the database objects basically a simple table with 1000 record from customer table uh, which we which i am fetching uh, fetching from the snowflake sample database I'm going to create a database schema and a table. So let me create that. Now, if I query this table, you will see that there are 1000 records in the table. And if I refresh share, you will see the new database sharing share database schema table, and there is 1000 record in the table. Now, my shareable object is created. Now, I'm able to, uh, means like I'm ready to uh, connect as share admin so what i will do i will copy the share admin user i will go to my new tab uh, where i am connected to the same uh, location and i am connecting as share admin user so let me connect so now the moment i get connected you will see that i am connected as just a moment all right so i am connected with the share admin as default as public but if i click here and switch my role you can see that i have a role also called share admin so in public i am not able to see anything but when i connect as share admin 
so you will see that I am able to see the new database which I want to okay so now uh, all right okay I think I need to switch the role to here share admin and then I am able to access the warehouse and uh, why I'm not able to see the all right did I miss something all right so I forgot to give the grants and that's the reason I was not able to see anything so I'm going to give the grant on the database going to give the grant on the schema on the table and I'm going to give the create share create share privilege to the on account to share admin user uh, share admin role so this is the most important privilege which you need to give to activate the share admin user to start creating the share so that is the reason I was not able to see anything so let me quickly go and execute this I forgot this step so now that you can see all has been executed successfully if I go here and refresh like if I go and refresh here you will see that diet share demo is now visible to me now uh, as I am connected I need to copy these steps from here to here because now I am connected with share admin I am going to use my role and the database and everything so I think it's already there but let me select that again now I will create a new share called customer s to start pushing all the objects into the share database so I will give the grants of the direct share demo database and the schema and the table which I created into the share now the share has been created so you can see that uh, share has been created and if I go and share I'm not able to see here uh, I'm not sure why but uh, let me refresh all right if I go on outbound now you can see uh, I'm not sure why was I was not able to refresh but now if you see here uh, I am on share admin uh, role and I can see the share which I just created now I have to add the consumer to this so if I go here and if I copy this and if I say add consumer and say reader account and if I click here and say all right I'm not able to create reader account no I don't want to create the reader account I will just go and uh, add the stuff from here so if I go here and uh, where is my let me first see how much grants are there so let's see over here so I can see that all the uses is uses for the database is there let me alter the customer share and add the account so now I have added the uh, account a reader, reader account here so you can see that the share is with uh, attached to the reader account now I am ready to log in as a custom user or sorry not as, as a re reader account and then do the further step so if I if you see here um, let me go here and if I am Martin reader at me so that's my reader account I'm connected here and here if you go on the uh, data shared data and you will see that shared with me and you will see nothing because I'm connected as this admin I will switch my role to account admin and we will start seeing the customer as sheet database so first thing is I will go and uh, create the database out of this share so I will click here I will name the same share as the database name and I will add the public role because I wanted to create uh, the public role for the reader only and I will get the data compilation object custom already exist okay if I go in the database I will see here okay maybe because I forgot to delete as part of last demo maybe I can drop quickly go and drop this customer as database so I will go on the end and I will say drop share customer s sorry not the share I want to drop the database so I will drop the 
customer s database so i will say drop database customer underscore s and i will execute this so now this database is dropped i will again go on the uh, data share data and i will get the database so i will use the cust share customer s create the database with the same name customer s at this public i will click on get data now the database has been created with the same name if i go and refresh here i will see the customer s as a new database but this is not only sufficient to create the shared database i will go on the compute i will give the access of this warehouse to public uh, role so i will give the public and give the users of this warehouse so that when i am connected as this only user i am able to uh, use this warehouse for all the compute users i will click on uh, user and then i will create a read only user here so if i go here i would like to create a read only user and uh, i have to give some dummy email id this is somehow mandatory over here i will give the password i will remove the force to change the password i'll click on advanced user option and here i will give the default role as public i will give the default uh, warehouse because we have given the grant so now warehouse is visible over here will create the user now you can see that it is enabled and the user is created now we will just switch the role to a reader account so full it will give me the connect screen login here i will click on the read only user and click on sign in and as i am connected i will open a new worksheet and uh, i can see the customer s database created if i go here and say select star from customer database diet share schema table and if i query this table i will be able to see 1000 record over here it will so you can see there are lots of record i think it's almost 1000 record you can see number of rows is 1k 1000 so that's the end-to-end -end demo how you can utilize the custom role how we can create the custom role utilize the custom role to narrow down the privileges uh, to a particular user of the role rather than giving them account admin user so hope you like this demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you